to learn about the role of science in the criminal justice system. Second, to learn about their relationship and duties toward each other. In the era of technology, where the criminals are committing crime by using technology, so it is almost impossible to solve those type of crime without using science and technology. Forensic science has become an integral part of the criminal justice system by recognizing and gathering evidences from the crime scene and thereafter analyzing them scientifically in the forensic science laboratories which could help in deciding the guilt or innocence of a suspect. Forensic science has developed itself to operate within the reality determined by criminal justice system to maintain this type of relationship between the forensic science and criminal justice system, communication is very important. The focus has been shifted from the quantity to the quality to make it possible for the forensic scientist to answer honestly the questions that have been posed to him. The reforms are needed in law and legal system to define these changes in reality. Forensic science being a discipline that comes from first in contact with the different type of problems has an important part to play in defining the reality. In other words, applying the scientific methods and techniques to help in uh, conducting criminal investigation to contribute in solving the legal problems. Like the pathologist who testify the cause of death and engineers testify the cause damage uh, from the equipment failure or fire or explosion, forensic science present expert testimony to the court of law. Introduction to science. The word science originated from the Latin word scientia means knowledge. It refers to a system of acquiring knowledge and uses these observations and experimentation to explain phenomena of nature. Sometimes it becomes difficult to describe science as what public think about science and scientist is not exactly correct. Their belief about the scientist is that they are the people who are capable of using complex methods and even secret means to discover or invent something for the benefit of humanity. Scientific experiments are supposed to yield results or conclusions which frame absolute truth which is one of the prime objectives of science. So science may be defined as an area of human and were which tries to establish and understand the connections among human phenomena with objects around us and processes that are subjected to observations, measurements and experimentations. It can be also defined as a systematic creativity which builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanation and predictions or in the simple words the type of knowledge that can be rationally explained and consistently applied. It is different from other disciplines with regard to its approach which is theoretical as well as empirical in nature. Now we will learn about the basic sciences. Pure or basic sciences are different from applied sciences, which are the application of research to human requirements. Science communities have been to baiting on the following questions for the last few decades about the worth of different type of sciences. Is it valuable? to pursue sciences for the sake of simply gaining knowledge or does this knowledge only have worth 
if it can be applied to solve a specific case or problem to improve our lives. The questions focus on the differences between two types of sciences, that is, basic and applied. Basic sciences or pure sciences include biological, physical, and chemical sciences, which are the study of natural world or research performed solely to expand the knowledge base. Applied sciences refer to the disciplines dealing with the art or science of applying scientific knowledge to solve real-world problems. Some of us may perceive applied science as a useful and basic science as useless, but many scientists think that a basic understanding of science is necessary before an application is developed. Therefore, applied science relies on the results generated through the basic science. At the same time, there are differences between forensic science and basic sciences. The differences are attributed in a part to the fact that forensic science has some unique objectives and in part to its continuous and necessary interaction with the legal system. In most scientific investigations of crime, different forms of the scientific methods have been used. Another category of the scientists think that it is more appropriate to move on the from basic science and instead to find solutions to actual problems. Both approaches are valid. It is true that there are problems that demand immediate attention. However, few solutions would be found without the help of the wide knowledge foundation generated through basic science. The following few examples show how the basic and applied science can be worked together to solve practical problems occurred after the discovery of DNA structure which led to an understanding of the molecular mechanism governing DNA replication. Strengths of DNA are unique in every human being, are found in our cells where they provide the instructions necessary for life. During DNA replication, it makes new copies of itself shortly before a cell division takes place. To understand the mechanism of DNA replication, scientists develop a laboratory technique that is now used to identify genetic diseases pinpoint individuals who are present at a crime scene and also help in solving paternity or maternity disputes. Without basic science, it is unlikely that applied science would exist. Similarly, another example of the link between basic and applied research is the Human Genome Project a study in which each human chromosome was analyzed and mapped to determine the precise sequence of DNA subunits and the exact location of each gene. As the gene is the basic unit of heredity, complete collection of genes of an individual in his or her genome to have a better understanding of human chromosomes. There is a need to understand other less complex organisms. The Human Genome Project relied on the basic research carried out with simple organism and later with the complex human genome. The data so generated eventually became important to achieve the end goal of applied research in the form of finding cures and early diagnosis for 
genetically related diseases. Forensic science is basically the application of the scientific methods and techniques of sciences such as physics, chemistry and biology to the matters of the law which includes a variety of different activities and specialities. Next is the scientific methods. To attain the truth is one of the basic aim of science and thus one of the base for the using the scientific methodology. This ideal perhaps is difficult to achieve sometime in actual practice. Actually, science is concerned with natural phenomena and is that area of human endeavor which tries to unite and understand the connections of things or environmental conditions and processes that are subjected to observations and measurements as well as experimentation. In addition, science can be distinguished from other disciplines on the basis of its combined theoretical and empirical approaches which are usually called the scientific method. The scientific method may be characterized as consisting of several separate steps in the form of theory, hypothesis, observation that is collection of data, conjecture and testing. Most scientists do follow this general procedure. The significance of the observations made is considered until some sensible explanation consistent with all the data a hypothesis arrived at. Experiments are designed in a such a way to test the hypothesis are then conceived and carried out. The new data thus obtained are used to refine the primary hypothesis if necessary. A modified hypothesis which has been verified a good deal of rigorous testing may be called a theory. Sometimes theories which have been extensively tested and verified by many scientists working independently may come out to be regarded as natural laws. Forensic scientists engaged reconstruction that is sequence of steps of events follow the essential principles of the scientific method sketched in an attempt to reconstruct the events which took place at a crime scene. For example, the first step is careful observations and collection of all the known facts in the form of observations and clear materials. Different hypotheses can be checked to see how well all of them relate to the fact of the case as additional facts are revealed by further observations or by experimental testing. It may then become possible to arrive at a theory of what took place and how. The scientific methods are not strict set of rules by which all scientists proceed. Rather, this is a particular way of going further to gather information about the natural world and attempting to organize and understand it. Elements of both inductive and deductive logic are used while applying the scientific methods. Now we will learn in detail about the deductive logic. In deductive logics or reasoning links premises with conclusions. If all premises are true, the terms are clear and follow the rules of deductive logic, then the conclusion reached are valid. Consider the given examples of deductive logic. The red pigment carrier of oxygen in the blood of all mammals is hemoglobin. As human are mammals, therefore hemoglobin is present in human blood. The conclusion here is a logical 
कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द टू प्रमाइसिस मैथमेटिकल प्रूफ्स आर देयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग और लॉजिक द कंक्लूजन इज क्रिएटेड ऑन द फैक्ट्स प्रेजेंट इन द प्रमाइसिस डिडक्टिवली नेक्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंडक्टिव लॉजिक इन द साइंटिफिक एक्सपेरिमेंट्स डिडक्टिव लॉजिक वुड नॉट बी सफिशियंट अलोन इट इज नेसेसरी टू गो बियॉन्ड the facts to draw conclusions that may have productive value this type of reasoning is known as inductive reasoning or logic which leads to the development of hypothesis the conclusion drawn has not been proved to be true although in some cases it may be regarded as true from a practical point of view a conclusion may be based on a huge experience that it is unlikely to be false for example that fingerprints are individual but this has never been rigorously proved the conclusion is reached through inductive logic and is based upon observations of the millions of scientists the reasoning behind the conclusion runs are as 10 of the thousands of fingerprints have been collected and cataloged in national files thus far no two peoples have been found to have the same fingerprints therefore fingerprints are individual in order to prove this conclusion rigorously by deductive logic it would be necessary to compare the fingerprints of every person living on this planet earth if two sets found to be matched then the conclusion reached would be inductively false since it would be impossible to conduct the examination of every person's fingerprints living on the earth we must be satisfied our self with the conclusion reached inductively by extrapolation from inadequate experience with a few million examples as representative even though the inductive conclusion has not been rigorously proved it seems quite unlikely that it is false it is therefore will be probable conclusion such conclusion may drawn from analogies or informed conjecture which is based upon a large amount of representative data to be useful practically it is required only that they are certain to be correct most of the time now we will learn about the hypothesis science begins simply with inquestionlessness about some of the natural phenomena then a scientist makes observation on these phenomena and formulates an educated guess to clarify the observations made this guess is called hypothesis and its plural is hypothesis since the hypothesis describes an explanation of some of these phenomena and made it possible to make some prediction based upon it in order to be within the jurisdiction of science a hypothesis must be able to create forecast which can be tested with scientific experiments hypothesis or theories remains outside the recam of science which are not of subject to scientific experimental testing but those which can be tested with scientific experiments the truth of their predictions are called scientific hypothesis true hypothesis always produce true predictions the distress is that false hypothesis can also sometimes yield true and false predictions as well therefore scientific experiment which prove that a prediction is true do not certainly demonstrate that the hypothesis from which 
the prediction was derived is true they just lent a support to the hypothesis the scientific experiment which scientist conducts to test any hypothesis are planned to be controlled so that there should be only one variable at a time in routine mostly it is not possible to construct an experiment with absolute certainty in which only one parameter is variable unrecognized variables do influence the experimental results many different experiments to be conducted on a particular issue or a question to find the truthfulness or falseness of a hypothesis as many different predictions are tested over the course of time if a hypothesis leads to a prediction that is shown experimentally to be false the hypothesis has to be modified or changed altogether so hypotheses are altered over the course of time as number of experiments is conducted to test their rationality after modification or alteration hypothesis that is a scientific guess get closer to the reality because of this self testing and experimental in nature scientific knowledge is always keep transforming there is no surety that yesterday's truth will remain the same as tomorrow's a hypothesis which has been extensively tested and which generates a large number of true predictions is often called a theory even the words hypothesis and theory are regularly used synonymously but a scientific hypothesis may not be the same as a scientific theory the scientific knowledge exists at a particular time present the best explanation of natural phenomena which has been formulated up to that time it is not possible to know how close to the real truth scientific knowledge at any particular time the history of science has educated us to be skeptical about everything whatever we think is true in forensic analysis a result or conclusion made our scientific public has become accustomed to believe that the results must be right since the 14th century scientific evidence have posed strong challenge for the law and legal system of the time and always had an uneasy association these challenges arise because of fundamental difference between the scientific and legal processes the legal system embarrass the advisory process to attain truth for ultimate purpose of attaining an authoritative final just and socially acceptable resolution of disputes thus law has fixed standards and seeks to define how people and private relations should function in contrast to law's vision of truth however science embraces empirical analysis to discover truth as found in certificable facts thus science does not define how the universe should be but rather describes how it actually is making it more disruptive summary as is evident from the module the science and technology is only way to combat the crime of modern times because they are committed with the help of technology this module also highlighted the knowledge of various types of sciences like applied and basic which is must and they are complementary to each other this has been explained very well in with the example in this module 
the application of science, scientific methodology is always necessary to take out the truth by making observation, measurements and experiments. In scientific method, there are certain steps which are required in the form of theory, hypothesis, observation, including collection of data, conjecture and testing. A hypothesis and sometimes the modifications are required to create a theory. For reconstruction of the events, principles of the scientific methods are required. The inductive and deductive logics are used to apply the scientific method. It is hoped that apply, by applying the scientific methodology, methods and techniques, help in conducting criminal investigation in such a way that can uh, contribute significantly to the criminal justice system.